How's it going, everyone? Welcome to another League of Legends video. We're playing some Janna support, a support that I actually don't play often, but I've played her many months ago, and I really never showed much interest in trying her again because she's a very she's very good at displacement and crowd control as a character, and even though she's considered an enchanter, her enchanter capabilities aren't what I really enjoy in an enchanter. But she recently got reverted, technically kind of buffed, um, in patch 1322, which is what we're in currently. Um, and the notes include that her passive was changed so that her uh, bonus movement speed was, I believe, increased with her magic damage. Her W now gives passive movement speed for her allies, and she also um, has scaling um, magic damage with movement speed. Her E is a longer cooldown, but the there is no more decay. And she does not have any increased heal and shield power when she crowd controls enemies. Her uh, Tornado also has some changes, which I can't recall at the current moment, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, I can discuss that as we go on. But it's pretty much just that her changes uh, a long while ago were reverted. And... For someone that doesn't pay attention to Janna, um, cool, I guess? I figured, like, let me try her. Let me see what she's gonna do. Where is her Shaco? Is he not playing? Hmm. Well, anyway, while the Shaco's not here, let me show you guys the runes. Guardian, Font of Life, Second Wind, Revitalize, Nimbus Cloak, and Celerity are what I've chosen. Uh, Shaco looks like he did some leashing. I am taking too much damage here. And... Wow, hold on. Was that 350 damage from Shaco? I should have put shield on myself instead of tornado. I also forgot the skill as soon as possible. He also has barrier? Why did he have barrier? Kais is going to try and zone her, but... Oh, she rooted herself. She's going to keep going. Okay, I think we can try and trade back here. I'm just going to walk over to the Shaco. Nice, he even got the Kaisa. And double kill? double kill? All right, let's go. That's my revenge. She lost vision of me. That's awesome. I was wondering why like the Jinx was just standing there waiting for Shaco to jump on him, but maybe she didn't realize. No problem, indeed. Drop a ward here for when Shaco comes back. Maybe we can also go put a ward in the tri bush. Well, there's Shaco. Cannon is mine. We're going to max W for this lane because it's going to be good poke. Since there's a huge minion wave, I'm just going to throw a tornado at the wave. And then we'll just poke him. Get some gold off of that. Ooh, it looks like there's a fight happening mid. Let's back out here and see if we can help. We do have a scuttle movement. Okay. Looks like Briar is out. Unless she's trying again. Oh, hello. Not sure what you're doing there. Is Kaisa coming? We see her. What is she thinking? 
I'll actually throw a question mark and see what she's thinking. She can't just kill me either, outright. Just help with the minions. Hmm. I do have a little bit of mana coming. Let me just give you a shield so you can deal more auto attack damage and last hit better. 1767. So I can actually get... I'm thinking of going CDR shoes. Because I am running Guardian and I want to have my shields up as much as possible. We'll get Fairy Charm and an Amplifying Tome. We're very close to level 6 already. I actually played one game before this, and it was a complete stomp against us. I, my ADC was an Ash, and she took every Amumu support Q Upon that she could possibly wind. take. It was absolutely embarrassing, and I'm happy that this Jinx is a little bit smarter than that. I've already caused her to have problems in lane, and she's not um, doing that bad. So we'll take it. You see there's a ward there. Is Shaco going to go and get that? Oh, nice. I'll give you a shield. And this should hit. No, it doesn't, actually. I'll tank. No, I can't. I'm just going to get back here, wait for shield to come back. And help her get out of that. I don't want to stay and get uh, backstabbed by Shaco. I'm just going to get out of here. Briars down here, they're backing out, it looks like. I didn't knock up uh, Shaco over there, unfortunately. I still got most of the experience here, too, which I am very appreciative of. Caldix is down here also, so it would have been a 3v3, but instead of continuing with a Miss Briar ult, they decided to disengage, interestingly enough. I feel like the pressure we provided is going quite well so far. And Briar wants to take the Drake. I'm down for that. But can I help out Lux here before I do so? Ooh, nice flash. I'm gonna prioritize her here. Shaka wanted to return. I'm just gonna get out of here and go this way because Briar's gonna be done with Drake. There's no point in me being here. Oh my god. We found him. Nice. Now we can go help Kaisa kill, uh, or Jinx kill Kaisa. Perfect. And Kaisa just flashed as well. Only for it to fail. We already completed stage one of our support quest. Give Jinx a shield so we give her bonus AD. She already gets 15 attack damage. That's a uh, Shaco trap. Mm, I don't think I want to hit the tower here. The Kais is level 6 and any crowd control done to us will cause her to jump on us or if she lands her W. And I don't want to take the risk. Let's give her a shield while she throws that ult. Oh, just barely. And I gave her a bonus attack damage as well. That was very close. So, we are going to be not running the exact aluminum build for Soraka as, in terms of runes and items. We're going to be building Ardent Sensor second, and then Staff of Flowing Water third. So we can get more movement speed. Oh, this Shaco's screwed. My poor guy. I'm 
Okay, so she's uh, hypercharged or whatever it's called away. No problem. This it deters her from staying up close to the lane. I should have probably shielded myself. I was uh, willing to take that damage just because in case Jinx wanted to get closer, I would have kept a shield for her. Oh, by the way, I think I mentioned that um, the shield ends up giving um, a non-decaying shield anymore, but it, the cooldown's a little longer. But, and with that, they decided to change it so that that's an unstoppable. Good flash, good flash. Whenever you land a slow or a knockup, the shield uh, cooldown is reduced by 20 seconds for each of those. I should have faced the dagger. Okay, good dodge on her part. What are you doing? As you wish. Your team has destroyed a turret. You guys won't be able to kill here, even if you tried. I am low on mana, though, which is, there's a bit of a problem with that. Tornado takes a lot of mana. 90 mana per. And I don't have mana flow banned. I'll take that, because we share gold. If I last hit it, because it's your control ward. Breathlessly. Shut down. Come take this. Okay, Rampage. I guess not. It's only five. Double kill. Ooh. Aw. We'll use a higher charge tornado just so we can deal a little bit more damage to the minions. We'll stand back since we are a little bit lower on mana. We can't really abuse. We're gonna be maxing shield second. Oh god. I. Hmm. Is he gonna kill me here? I wonder how. We didn't get the kill on Kaisa there. Just barely. Like 1 HP. Oh my god, he still stood there to get bitten. I'll get plates of Briar here. I want plates. Two. Three. Oh wait, Briar stepped away. Okay. I'm gonna help you with that. There's another ward to get. Can we take out this tower now? We already took out top tower with Alawi. Swiftly. That's the real one. Is he just inting now? Surprised that control ward is detecting. Oh, is that? Doesn't seem like that's control ward. Detecting that one. Upon the wind. Actually, instead of going the Forbidden Idol, we'll pick up the Aether Wisp. Because now, we are doing a total of 215 damage every Q. And we gain 10.8% uh, movement speed. And we're ghosted. So we have to practice weaving autos in between our Zephyrs. We also keep in mind that when we shield now, we give movement speed. I'm sure their team is not happy about this, Shaco.
I mean, he already used his um, his blink to go in, so you might as well chase him down when he's not able to kill. That's just really how it goes, right? We don't even need to help out Briar. Briar's going full lethality. She's 9, 1, and 4 now. And they surrendered. I guess that was just really easy there. Good, good job to us. <laughs> Let's take a look at our uh, stats here. If it will load. Oh, I increased my mastery of Janna. Hooray. I don't know if I'll play her more often, but I'll give the Briar for great shot calling. Surely one more game can you kill me? Yeah, I mean, the, the Lux is getting run down the whole game. But that was really good uh, leaning pressure from us. I don't know what that Shaco is doing. Um, we managed to get 5,305 gold, only did 3,674 damage, which we could have done better with our auto attacking, I'm sure. Let's see, ally healing with the healing rune, that's just it. Shielding, 896. And I don't know, is there really anything to look, look over here? Because it was a quick 15 minute game. I mean, what was it? I died early and then I ended up going 2, 1, and 7. So she's very, I mean, I think that even with the early pressure that they developed from that first kill, they still weren't able to turn that into a snowball lead. Because they kept be taking the advantage and running in forward. Meanwhile, we have so much disengage tools. And um, the tornado, they're trying to avoid, I'm sure. But they kept running into traps as well. And then Sloth and Zephyr is also something that they were over, over, um, underestimating. So I'm going to try more games with Janna. But we'll give this one an upload here. Um, but if you guys enjoyed that video, feel free to drop a like on the video. Um, I still don't know how I feel about her. I need to play another game to see if she is really worth playing uh, as a, another main champion in my pool, perhaps. Or if she's a good situational pick for myself. Um, I don't really know what to talk about with the changes. But I do know that these changes are something that people are were looking forward to when they when they were announced that the reversion was going to happen. So figured let's give it a try. I mean, we, it's it worked out for us. Um, I think I played it pretty okay, despite the level 1 death or level 2 death. Um, so yeah, if you like, like the video. Comment if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. If you'd like to see more of Janna, um, subscribe if you want to see more content of support gameplay from Soraka to Lux to Rakan, other champions like that. And follow the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash nazan underscore for League of Legends, Final Fantasy XIV, and other games of the like, where you see me in the support role. And I'll see you for the next video. Adios.